Hey designers, what's going on? My name is PrimeMD and I'm a UX UI designer in Toronto. And today I have a special video for you guys. It's pretty much how to save time while designing an app or a website, whatever it is that you guys are designing, preferably on Adobe XD. So let's go. All right, so I will make this video as short as possible, but don't really count me on that. Basically, whenever I design, I pretty much seem to be just designing the same thing over and over again in new projects. And that is killing a lot of my time, which I can use to build a newer design. So for example, if you are designing a login screen and a sign up screen, that's the example I'm going to show you, by the way, and you're doing it for an app. Um, there's no point of redesigning those logging screens over and over and over again. Imagine you have done 50 apps for your clients, different clients, of course, and you're just designing the same thing and over and over again. And on top of that, the first logging screens and the signup screens that you guys have designed, they're doing a great job. Like, you know, for your client's app, users are able to sign up easily. They are able to log in easily. So what is the point of reinventing that wheel every single time when you have a new app that you're designing for a client and you have to create that login and sign up screen. But having said that, I'm going to show you a quick trick that can help you design these a lot better. So let's go. So here is what I'm going to do. First off, I have my app right here and I need to design login and sign up screen. So instead of me redesigning a thousand times for the thousandth time, hope that makes sense. I'm going to open an existing design that I've done recently. So this is the app that I've designed. It's the redtech.ca app and I've already designed the login screen and sign up screen here already. So I am just going to take that, let it load first. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? It's been a long time that I have opened this app by the way. Uh, here we go. Okay. Look, so this is create uh, an account and then you have your login screens right here. So I am just going to take these bad boys. So I take that, I put it right here. I don't know why it moved over there. So you guys are going to go right here and then I'm going to open another one. It's going to call create account. Sure. Why not? Uh, all caps go at the bottom here. There we go. Let's take all these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to go like that. Okay. Now I no longer need this. Take care of bye now. This is just for social media. Ignore that. Okay. So here's what I need to do right now. In the beginning, you have either welcome back or you could say anything else. Let's just ignore that for a, for a bit. What we need to focus on is the branding. So removing the logo, the colors that I have here and in the text might get changed because of the brand colors that I've applied in my designs. And just to double check, I got to make sure that I have all the requirements needed for my login screen. So you have your email password, forget password, which is right over here. And to, to verify that, which is great. And then you got your email and your password. And if you click on show, you can see that. So I'm just going to take this entire screen here and bring that back here. All right. Boom. Please stay. Please stay. Bad boy. All right. So I'm going to take this guy, put it right beside my login screen. And now I pretty much have my brand guidelines. So number one is welcome back. I will take that and just put it here. So we are good to go and just ungroup them. Try to center it. Yeah, it looks about right. Just to make sure I got it right here. Copy and we are just, oh, oops. Okay, and paste it here. We will just make sure that is correct. We are good. So now I need to make sure that text that I have all over this, the screen here. So email address, password, uh, this character here, email address here and so on and so forth is according to my brand guidelines. And how do I know what my brand guidelines are? Well, very simple while designing the app, I've placed them right here. So I am going to go here, make sure it's accurate to see, and then do the same thing here to see like that. Now my back button screen, I know I've designed it somewhere. So I'm going to take it from, uh, where is it right here? I'm going to take this guy, go right here and like that. Yep. Perfect. So delete 
delete boom boom and voila i love that feature in adobe xd copy that and get rid of this look at that like that's my login screen i'm literally done like i have one two three four and i'm yeah so it's done now when it comes to create your own account you're just gonna do the same thing just make sure that you have the you quickly have applied your logos and your colors okay so let's look at this for example it is at 10 so what, what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna go to here boom shakalaka that's right i'm gonna boom shakalaka all of them so i'm gonna go like this and put it to 10. same thing here and put it to 10. so once you have done this you just have to like sweep it a little bit like, and you just got to do a little bit of cleanup here and just apply the same thing copy paste it all the way throughout the whole point of this is like you don't have to think from scratch on how to create a new login screen or a sign up screen you already have the designs and just pretty much apply it all the way throughout and there you have it so all my form fields are completely correct and now i'm going to go down and do the same thing all the way across. Remove the logos, add my brand guidelines, and also change the form field, which will also look like, yeah, so this is how it's going to look like. It's the same form field uh, dimensions that we have and the font colors is according to the brand guidelines of this app, which is the boom. It's my website, by the way. I love this password. It's not my real password. Okay, nice try. Nice try, Jimmy. There you go. Super simple. It's just going to take you less than probably five minutes to do this. It took me a little bit longer because explaining it and then designing it takes a little, a little bit while. But at the end of the day, this is how I do it. And it saves me a lot of time. And now you might be asking yourself, hey, wait a second, man. I haven't created a sign up screen or a login screen for any of the apps yet. So what do I do? Well, have no fear. Fahim is here. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I will have these screens in my Dropbox. Actually, I have these screens in my Dropbox, which you guys can download for free. The link for that is in the description below. So go ahead, download them, add your brand guidelines, have fun and make your apps come true. And also please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I really hate this big C thing. It always activates. I don't even know why. If you have not, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell notification icon and you'll be updated every time I upload a video. Until then, I'll see you guys in another video. My battery is about to end right now. Okay guys, peace out.